हेलो एवरी वन वी आर फ्रॉम विश्वकर्मा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे डिविजन एम ग्रुप सेवन आर टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज बेस्ट डिजाइन इन कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर आर आर ग्रुप मेट्स एंड कॉन्टेंट फॉर द वीडियो इज फर्स्ट बेस्ट टाइप्स सेकेंड बेस्ट विथ थर्ड टाइमिंग्स फोर्थ मेथड ऑफ आर्बिट्रेशन एंड फिफ्थ डाटा ट्रांसफर टाइप so one first topic is types of buses in types of buses uh, there are two points first is dedicated second is multiplex so first dedicated permanent assigned bus either to one function or to a physical subset of computer components they have separate data and address lines and they have high speed second multiplex multiplex used in the same bus for a multiple purpose that is time multiplexing and have a shared lines save space and cost and more comp and have more complex circuits so second topic is bus width in bus width there are also two points first address second data so first address the width of a address bus has a impact on a range of location that can be referenced if a bus has an address lines then the cpu can address to rest to n different memory location second data the width of a data bus has an impact on the number of a bits transport at one time yes so the third topic is bus timings what is bus timing it is basically refers to the way in which events are carried out on the bus here the first one is synchronous in synchronous the system clock determines the occurrence of events on bus the second is the bus has a clock line on which a continuous uh, alternating of zero and one or equal duration is transmitted by clock all events starts at the beginning of the clock advantages of this uh, timing is, is simplicity in implementation the second one is asynchronous in this occurrence of one event on the bus follows another so the next event depends on the occurrence of the previous events on the bus this type has no clock for monitoring the advantages of this type is it is more flexible in terms of speed than synchronous in the next slide we can see the two diagrams representing <coughs> synchronous and asynchronous types see as you can see in synchronous uh, we, uh, there are two types of uh, a display that is 0 and 1 and in asynchronous the display is depends on the uh, irregular and this is because the next display is depends on the previous display fourth point is method of arbitration in a bus to decide which component can transmit over the bus when multiple components want to gain control of the bus it is of two types centralized and distributed a single hardware device allocates time and control of bus to other devices it may be separate module or part of processor it is the bus controller the second point is distributed no central authority each module has code for access control and modules act together to share the bus master initiates a read write operation with some other device the fifth point is data transfer type it is of five types read write read modify write read after write and block write multiplexed bus is used to specifying address and then transferring data same as read operation read dedicated bus data put on bus as soon as the address has been stabilized the read multiplexed bus it is used to specifying address and then transferring data after a wait while data is being fetched read dedicated address is put on bus and remain there while data are put on data bus read modify write address is broadcast once a, once at beginning a simply read is followed immediately by a write to the same address the in in read after write a write followed immediately by a read from the same address performed for checking purposes in the last one the block in block one address cycle is followed by n data cycles the first data item is transferred to or from the specified address remainder data items are transferred to or from subsequent addresses thank you